Now, these metal structures behind us sure have some interesting shape cutouts. Let's look at the one behind us. The artists, Diane Goldberg and Julie Cohn, wanted to use their art to represent something really interesting, Bernoulli's principle. Have you ever heard of that before? Yeah, Bernoulli's principle helps us understand how aircraft, like airplanes, and animals fly. Look closely at the artwork. Can you see the airplane wings? Hmm. I sort of noticed one here, that curved shape of the wing. So that might be an example of one, and I also see others throughout the rest of the artwork. Yeah, so Bernoulli's principle helps us understand that as the plane is moving forward, air is moving over the wing. The air that is traveling over the top of the wing is traveling faster than the air that is beneath the wing, creating areas of low pressure and areas of high pressure. This pressure differential creates lift, which helps all objects to fly. That's so interesting and seems really perfect for an artwork here at the airport. I don't know if you know this, Jonathan, but Bernoulli's principle isn't just at work in airplanes, it's also at work in our bodies when we sing. So our throats have something called a vocal fold, and when we sing or speak, air moves through the vocal fold. And I wonder, do you think that when air moves through that vocal fold, do you think that the vocal fold would contract or close, or do you think that it would open back up further? That's a really good question. I think that as air travels through the vocal folds, it would push them apart. That's an interesting hypothesis. I think we should test it out using two pieces of paper to mimic the two different sides of our vocal fold. Wow, Mary Carey. The two pieces of paper were pushed together. So when we blew through the two pieces of paper, we created low pressure because the air was moving through them. And because the outside air is pushing in on them, uh, it, it actually caused the two pieces of paper to come together similar to how an airplane wing cuts through the air as it flies. Wow, so Bernoulli's principle is at work in our bodies and in the aircraft. I wonder where else it's at work in the world. If you're interested, you can do some research on Bernoulli's principle on your own at home or school. That's Walk STEM. Mm -hmm.